guys, today we are creating Goo Lagoon by taking some water, adding ink, adding oil, and adding a miniature level from the game SpongeBob SquarePants of the Cosmic Shake. Today we are creating a miniature level from the game SpongeBob SquarePants of the Cosmic Shake. And the level is called Pirate Goo Lagoon. Lagoon. After having watched the trailer, I could not choose which level to create. All of them are so adorable. The gameplay looks promising and I can't wait to get the game for my Switch at the end of the month. We are creating Pirate Goo Lagoon because, well, I really liked the characters which are appearing in the level. We have the Flying Dutchman, but also Admiral Prawn, who has taken the ship from the Flying Dutchman, but also our home, the beloved pineapple home from SpongeBob SquarePants. For me, it's not the first time doing an underwater creation. I'll link it right here. Go check it out. I once created a whole creation underwater. At least I tried. The oil and water experiment is for a while now floating around in my head and I waited for a chance to bring it to life and to recycle this beautiful honey jar we are building on top of the lid, creating some rocks, creating a sandy, lovely environment. And we will make it vivid with a lot of details, some underwater plants, the characters itself, and tons of details, which we will create in today's video. And we start mixing the first color, for the corals. We have three different types of corals and I used this technique for the underwater scenery from Minecraft, which I created some while ago. And while the corals inside the game looked a little bit more round shaped, I still liked the effect from the pointing tool. And I also have another idea, which we will try out later by using some green wool for some algae, some seaweed, which is hopefully then floating and moving underwater, or in our case, under oil. Goo Lagoon. Once again, Crystal helped me to create some beautiful details for the level. Right now she's working on some fences made out of bamboo. And you have just seen some elements um, where I hope to build some wooden boxes out of. Look at the tiny shell. This is incredible tiny. It's like one or two millimeters. And they will be shattered around on our tiny island. Meanwhile, I'm working on a way to create palm trees. It has this characteristic look of the level Pirate Goo Lagoon and I am a big fan of this tree and it makes it so cozy, so comfortable, so beautiful. Adding this to the island. We have two on the right and one on top. Hopefully it's not too high for the jar. It's still soft, everything is soft, it looks like a cake. And with a toothbrush we can add this texture, this beautiful sandy texture to the ground. I didn't really pay a lot of attention while watching the trailer and also the available gameplay. But from what I understood, you have to collect square pans, squared underpants in um, air bubbles floating around. And then we also have socks. I think this is the symbol for the pirates, but not really sure. On this sign, you see a sock, which is pointing the way. And now let's try out 
the seaweed effect I was talking about. I tried to make it a little bit more uneven and organic looking. And now we can plant the seaweed. Stick it into the clay, maybe covering with some further clay. And later, when we have added the mixture of our immiscible liquids, water and oil, they are hopefully moving and floating underwater like real seaweed would do. On the backside of our tiny island we have a cave. And I'm not really sure how to use this cave later on, but I'm pretty sure that I will have an idea. This is going to be a live buoy, a live belt, and inside the game they are used as a trampoline to get to higher grounds. I will now take some time to place all the details. They are pre-baked in the oven so that they don't bend or break, especially the fences. And I want to talk about, about the experiment, uh, experiment, the oil water experiment. They don't mix because they are immiscible. This means water molecules are attracted to the water molecules and the oil mo molecules only are attracted to the oil itself. And when shaking this up, you know this, they separate after a while again and the water will sink down to the bottom because it has a higher density than oil. And for this experiment, for this creation, we will use this characteristic of water, making it blue, coloring it with some ink, and it will be our Goo Lagoon. Goo Lagoon. And the oil on top is, well, the ocean, the atmosphere where SpongeBob SquarePants and his friends are living in. And I'm now working on the palm tree leaves on top of a tiny hill, which I created with clay and covered with aluminum foil to get beautifully crooked and rounded leaves. If I had to create another level from SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, I'd probably go for the Wild West theme, creating him um, with a cowboy, cowboy hat and riding a seahorse. It's a different kind of level, I think, um, where you have some kind of a race, just gluing some palm tree, coconuts, and the time has come. We are creating the one where everyone came for SpongeBob SquarePants in four square millimeters. <laughs> We have still the pirate theme also on the costume which he's wearing. We have this wooden leg which is so cute. And also this leather trousers. Of course he has an eye patch on his left eye. I was really hoping for a hook for his hand. And we will give him a pirate hat with a tiny tiny skull on top of it. I also really like the red scarf as a design element. And the pirate hat will also get a red outline, very thin one. I can't tell you how much of a struggle this was because it's so tiny. Inside the game, Patrick is some kind of a balloon. He's floating right next to SpongeBob. And the idea is to take some balsa wood. This is very lightweight wood. And hopefully after coating with clay, it will go to the surface. It want to go to the surface. So when we bend it to a very thin cord, we can make it float right in the middle. Still not sure if the clay is too heavy for this tiny piece of balsa wood. 
but we'll give it a try after having added the eyes and the eyebrows. Look at that! It's Patrick! Ah, <sighs> okay, who's next? Oh, I forgot the eyelashes on Spongebob. For the next character, the Flying Dutchman, we need different kinds of bright green. Well, I made an experiment to figure out how much green and how much lemon, lemon yellow, I should take to create this ghostly bright green shimmering. One part green, four parts yellow and just the apple green. Then another mixture with a tiny hint of blue and white and we can start creating the Flying Dutchman. In the part of the gameplay which is already released, we see the Flying Dutchman who is desperate because the Admiral Prawn has taken his ship, his flying ship, and after Spongebob observes the sky, he discovers the Admiral Prawn on top of the ship from the Flying Dutchman and sees his pineapple home, um, which <laughs> the, the Admiral has also taken. And he has another reason to help the Flying Dutchman and to get back his home. This is Admiral Prawn. I mixed this bright blue with a lot of white, a tiny bit of blue, and we put him into a suit. We put him into this beautiful red coat with some further elements. We have this yellow scarf. We have this Admiral's hat, or whatever you'd like to call it. As we are working on a very, very tiny scale, I have the fear of missing out, missing out some beautiful details. Well, not the eyes, but maybe the nose, or at least the mustache. Nose is set, hands are set. <laughs> In his left hand, he is holding some kind of a megaphone, and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked SpongeBob. This is the part I was so looking forward to, to do. Placing all the characters, Balloon Patrick. Oh no, a needle. Yeah. We are sticking in this tiny transparent wire and gluing it into the ground. Hopefully the floating effect is working. So what to do with a flying Dutchman? He is afraid. Afraid of Admiral Prawn. This is why he's hiding in the cave. And it's himself with a megaphone standing on top. No, wait. We have to make him even higher. Standing on this stool, on this hawker. We have to adjust our mixture in order to get a proper goon. The blue is water and it should be just a little bit enough to cover just the first two centimeters and the moment has come. Okay, we need some more oil. <laughs> and sticking pirate goon inside. Closing the jar, and now let's have a look.